Hello everybody, I'm Count Christo and welcome back to the Global Granada Campaign in the wonderful Mayo and Taxes 2.5. It's been a little while, I apologise, I've been extremely busy and I'm currently freaking out because I'm wearing <laughs> different headphones, <laughs> a headset rather, and it sounds very, very strange to me to be speaking with a different headset on <laughs> while recording. My voice sounds weird to me. And if I play things back, like I did an audio test just now, I played it back to myself. Sounds really freaking weird. So, uh, I need to... This, there is a reason for this preamble, so pardon me for just a second before we get back into the, uh, the campaign. I managed to bro break my headset today by uh, standing up and the wire got caught and I literally just ripped the wire in half. So, I bought myself a new headset. Uh, or rather, more accurately, those of you who are wonderful enough to donate on Patreon bought me a new headset, so thank you for that. And, uh... And it's rubbish. <laughs> it's not... It's not very good. You picked it poorly, Patreons. And uh, anyway, so I'm going to I'm going to replace it. But uh, just this one recording session is going to be done with my uh, this less good headset. And the main problem with the headset is that the audio control on like the headset cable just changes the in-game audio. So if I turn the headset down to nothing, I think you will lose in-game audio. But I'm not sure because it doesn't look like you do on OBS. The po the point of this one minute 30 second ramble is I'm sorry if the audio is whacked for this and like the next six or so episodes which will be this one recording session I hope it isn't and it doesn't sound like it will be when I listen back to it but there it is anyway with that out of the way let's get back into it so it's been a little while since I played as of course you know if you're following along in real time as of course most of you are and we should reassess the situation France is obviously the only major threat right now. It'd be lovely. God, the game sounds, sounds so weird. It'd be lovely if we could ally Austria, which they would actually take right now. Although, of course, we can't ally them because they're a member of the HRE. I, uh, I had forgotten about that. We can, can ally the Emperor, but uh, we dislike them and they dislike us. Oh, and they're allied to France. Well, <laughs> never mind. France is going ham in Scotland. They have cause in Scotland. I guess they inherited Scotland's cause. And uh, they also, of course, have all this land down here in Italy. So we need to seriously start considering a war with France. For which we're going to need manpower. So I think a period of, uh, of peace and prosperity is called for. Diploma of investiture, no problem. My dear colonies. I wonder if we could uh, repeatedly force them to replace their colonial governor just to get endless. Oh, I was looking at this thinking there's our little, uh, there's our Mexican colony, but no, that's the, that's the Aztecs. Right, where are our armies? There's one being transported home, there's another waiting for transport, and there's one hunting for the seven cities of gold. Okay, good. I understand the situation. Why do I have a partial core? Oh, I guess I conquered a native or something. No, no one else has a core here. How do I have a full core? Mmm, I must have got it from an event. Uh, Tugut wants to ally us. I'm not sure about that, Tugut. I'm going to, I'm going to say no to that. Okay. They are privateering us. In fairness, we are privateering them. <laughs> Mantabeziak coring. That'll be somewhere down here, I guess. Not sure. I did notice, before I started recording, we can start coring one province over here. The other two, I assume, have some unrest. Yeah, so... You guys shouldn't actually be going over there. Quite the opposite. Bring you guys back. It's weird to not be playing on Dharma. I just, uh, automatic rebel suppression. I could suppress the revolt risk in multiple provinces simultaneously and all that good stuff. We've converted some people down here. Good lord, our conversion is going very badly. Oh, that's right, we're being tolerant in this campaign. I forgot, I so rarely do that these days. When I, I think when I started this campaign, that was my normal way of doing things. Good lord, we're so impious. And yet our tolerance sucks. We've not taken humanist. Why have we not taken humanist if we're doing a tolerance campaign? All right, so we're going to take humanist next. Uh, it's going to be a imperative. Our religious unity is hot trash. We will keep conversing people until then, because obviously, even with full humanist ideas, it's far better to have your whole country be one uh, one religion. We don't need human players because we aren't doing the Dharma multiplayer. Okay, good. Well, France, it appears, is rather devastated right now, but so are we. Wasn't there just a big plague or something? Yeah, look at all that devastation. Good lord. 
We do appear to have managed to come out of the plague with plus one stability though, so that's good. Has the Shadow Kingdom event fired? Yes, so we can ally Milan, theoretically. Obviously everyone in the world is going to be at their alliance limit. Milan, you really haven't expanded, have you? In fact, you lost land to Savoy of all people. Savoy usually gets absolutely ground pounded by, uh, by France. Is that integration progressing? It is indeed, six a month, done in a mere four years. Good lord, that feels like an extraordinarily short integration. Mamluks. I have no CB on the Mamluks, of course, because we don't have religious ideas. We should probably spy on the Mamluks and seize the rest of this region. I know I was just saying we should save manpower to kill France, but the Mamluks would be really easy to kill. Presumably you don't have any powerful allies, no. Yeah, so let's, uh, let's do that. We're also spying on the Pope Man. Good, and we have plans, it looks like, to go to war with Venice. I believe we're close to the aggressive expansion limit. <laughs> yes, we are. Uh, okay. We won't be doing any expanding for a little bit then. Need to uh, need to let that cool off. I've got a lot of money right now and no loans. That's good. Uh, we're making 111 ducats gross. Sorry, uh, yeah, gross a month. That is really good. How am I managing to spend all that? Diplomatic expenses 6.3. Knowledge sharing with Sicily. What am I doing? I'm not knowledge sharing with them. What are you talking about, game? Why are you stealing 9.3 ducats to give to Sicily? Is Sicily actually making that income, even though we don't have knowledge sharing with them? Yeah. They're not supposed to make money from knowledge sharing. What is going on? Is that going to go away on the monthly tick? I don't think that we've had a monthly tick. I'm not crazy, right? You don't, you're not supposed to make money from knowledge sharing. What is going on? Um, we'll go with whatever makes them happier. I'm... I'm baffled. It's not like it's subsidies and it, the game's confused. Oh, right. Right. They're sharing knowledge with us, not the other way round. Okay. Okay, that's fine. We need uh, we need the Renaissance. Hmm. Knowledge sharing in M&T. Problematic. Because it's only 10 years, right? But in M&T it grows much slower, so in 10 years it won't necessarily have finished. Hmm, interesting. Well, I think that's worth it. That's so expensive, but I think that is worth it. What are we building right now? How? What's our production situation like? Hmm. A bit varied. Toledo, you're producing the wrong thing. Stop that. Oh, they don't have enough production skill. They need 25 before you can start interacting with it. Uh, well, we could build some more workshops. Have we got any in actual big cities? Not really. What's the next building in... Uh... Oh, it's going quite fast in Al-Andalus, though. So that's nice. We could build a uh, world-famous university. We don't have the continental center of... A new plague? But we just... We're still dealing with the previous one. Oh, it's okay. It's in India. That won't come to us. Not yet. Once we have a global trade empire, it will come to us. Probably, anyway. Sorry, I, I appear to have Facebook open. Let me, let me rectify that so you don't get the bongs. There we go. An Ibadi Mosque. Yes, please. I'd love positive tolerance without having to spend the admin points. I think. Well, maybe we wouldn't. Hmm. Act of Supremacy. Permanent 10 secularism. Pretty strong. Hmm. The church is currently not happy with us, apparently. I think we should do this. It's a temporary debuff for a long-term gain. The uh, the permanent 10 secularism is going to be really good for our uh, our glorious secular way. Cannon fodder, yes. Guns need men to fire them. Presumably you're still very loyal, Leon. Yes. Why are you not diverting trade to me? Or embargoing my rivals. What was I thinking in this campaign? <laughs> the other thing we could do is decide that we'd rather core land from Lyon if we wanted. Good. They've chilled out in Italy. You guys can come back over. Where are these ones? Oh yes, the two... Uh, the two revolting provinces down here, but they're calming down quite quickly. I'm not going to bother spend, sending the army over to core them. Coring, you know, rich Italian land, I think that's worth it, but down there, it's, ah, it's fine. You are presumably fully annexed? No, 13 years, okay. So we can integrate them then. 
Um, well, in terms of city building, I think I was working on communication efficiency over to Italy, is my, my vague recollection. I think we wanted to send at least the Provencal, Provencal, I think, uh, trade of communication efficiency, rather, will go via Barcelona. So let's get a better trade dockland there. No, I was going to build... <laughs> It's going to build the world-famous university. That's right, we can do that next. As soon as we've got the um, institution present here, of course, we, we, we won't need to uh, pay Sicily, at least not for long, because it'll spread very rapidly once it's actually present in the province. But, uh, wow, look at our farming efficiency, 70%. Oh, God. You want, uh, you want minimum autonomy. How influential are our lesser nobles? Yeah, they're pretty influential. I really want to refuse. By the way, the amount of stability you lose when you revoke a privilege is based on the influence of the estate, not their loyalty. Loyalty doesn't even come into it at all, which I think is very silly. Um, well, we didn't lose stability. Uh, we are going to get some revolts because of that, though. But that's okay. We have... Uh, I was going to say we have decent troops, but no, that's not this campaign. We have, we have very normal troops. <laughs> That's okay. What's our army professionalism like? Uh, not too good. 47%. That's okay, though. We can keep it going up. Uh, of course, there is always room for talented men. I love my 50% offs. But when it's just a matter of losing a little bit of unrest in the core areas, just the Jews. Jews are never really a majority, so I don't really mind about them much. We'll just take the money, I think. You know, if it was the Christians or the uh, the Abadis or something, or the, the Copts, then we'd care more. They declared war on Geneva with diplomatic insults. They're not going to take any land in that war. What a waste of time. Uh, Savoy and Geneva both want Kandatiari. <laughs> um, it's tempting. Let's wait till we get our full stack back over here and then we'll consider it. <laughs> I mean, we're not going to use them to fight France. What are you, what are you talking about? Are you crazy? But uh, we certainly could at least milk some money out of uh, Savoy and Geneva. Probably Savoy, realistically, because they'd be the, the wealthy one in the arrangement. I am sorry it's been a while since I did this campaign, by the way. Uh, it's not it's not a conscious decision. I'm not losing interest in the campaign or anything. I've just been extraordinarily busy because I am moving house, which obviously takes up a lot of time with viewings and house hunting and things. I also work full-time these days. No, not to France. To Savoy. Um... Which obviously means I don't have a huge amount of free time to begin with. They would pay us 0.1. I'm not going to bother for 0.1. You do make a profit if you rent your troops out for 0.1. If you weren't going to have them on uh, on low maintenance anyway, then you you make a money however much you make money however much money they give you because you can continue drilling even when you're at war. Supply limit is 73. Look at this glorious province we have created. That's fantastic. I don't know how stable this patch is, by the way. We'll see. Mm. This is actually the uh, the 2.5 beta branch. <laughs> so, might have some issues, but, but I, I don't really remember. How long was the truce with you, papacy? Oh, ages. Cool. So, by the time that the AEs burned off against the Christians, we'll want to spend it. This is a tip that I want to give you, actually. Not just specifically for M&T, but for um, EU4 generally. Think of your aggressive expansion as something that you spend. You spend it on expanding, which means you don't want to waste it, right? Just like ducats. So we're going to save up our aggressive expansion allowance and then spend it on taking land off these guys, especially this great cathedral. Would be adorable. Missionary strength plus 0.5. Adorable is a little bit strange. Suggest act of seclusion. I'll look into that in a second. There is peace between us and the Dutch Republic for now. What? We're not at war with the Dutch Republic? Suggest the agreement to the Netherlands. If we were to perform an act to keep the next Prince of Orange away from political power, there won't be a king on their throne to lead them in another war against us. Have we ever been to war with them? We have. Why have I been to war with them? Because they're allied to Castile, I guess. Sure, let's 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 see if we can form some kind of a alliance with the Netherlands. That would be a great counter to France. Of course, they are allied to Castile. <laughs> Which could be problematic, but uh, we shall see, we shall see. Now that our ships are going out, we're making even better money, right? Yeah, cool. Christianity is in decline. Love to see it. Of 
course, this place gets immediately converted back. But now, with a large Sunni community, making up 20% of the population, lovely. Oh no, our general died, but not this one. Was he our, uh, he was indeed our explorer. Oh, sorry, our conquistador, but that's okay. You can recruit conquistadors in, uh, Terra Incognita. Can you recruit generals in Terra Incognita? Normal generals? You know, I'm not sure you can. Maybe you can, though. Not sure. So, our goal for this campaign... Oh, hello. Bohemian is re-elected. Re ...is, of course, to get the, uh, the merchants from having trade control in all of the trade company regions. I don't think that means we have to rush. Like, I, I really don't feel the pressure of, oh, we've got to conquer all this land, so we need to really we bulldoze to I think we're, we're completely fine at the current kind of speed we're going. Now would be a good time to declare war on France. They are allied to Bohemia. They outnumber us, but not by much. Actually, no, when we're fully reinforced, we outnumber them. They also have crazy amounts of manpower. But if they were to put all their men on England, on, on the British Isles, that is, that'd be great. Man, those party tolerance for events are uh, a lot shorter than the ones you can actually instigate yourself. We can make territories, sorry, rather we can make territories into states. How many? Two. So, one, two, I think, has got to be how we'd spin it, right? Although, of course, the development over here is low, because we burnt it all to the ground. It's not low inland. Well, eight, it's not fantastic. Maybe we make this a state first up in Naples. It's, it's two? This is not two urban development. Check again. But still, that's not great, is it? But this place, I think, might be more worth stating than uh, than Alexandria right now, because Alexandria is uh, only one in the whole place. Oh no, there's, there's two, because there's one in Dalmatia. We've got four right here, so... We'll probably do Naples. There's a lot more urban development. Sorry, uh, rural. Of course, the problem is you can't say, like, hmm, which has the highest state income. But, I mean, 0 0.3 and 0, because <laughs> they're so autonomous, but... Hmm. Where else could we state? Well, we could go somewhere like here, which obviously right now has much higher income. Toledo is a large state. It's very close to us. We will want to develop a city in Toledo itself. How about Galicia? Lots of income right now in Galicia. Just because it's low autonomy urban land, basically. There is the mine, too. That makes a not insignificant amount. Hmm. About down in Fez. Problem of working off current incomes is, of course, making it into a state raises your income by so much. I think we'll put it in Naples. Or possibly Rome. But yeah, I think the one we've got now, once we've called Naples, we'll put it there. No, 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 no. Right, 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 right. Of course, we should put it in Sicily. Because Sicily has been untouched by war for much longer, and so it's better developed. Well, it's actually not better developed. It's actually significantly worse developed. Don't mind me, I have no idea what I'm talking about. Why does the game think the development here is so much lower? Is the urban pop just rubbish? 26,000, that is trash. What is it down here? It's only 14,000. What's going on? Blessings of the Alima. Weirdly enough, like, I seem to just be able to accept, them, accept it as my due and still get it. Maybe that's doing some kind of hidden modifier behind the scenes, but I don't know. So, we're going to have Separatists. First one looks like it's going to be the Mamluks, so I guess we're going to have to go and deal with that. Only 8,000. It's not a big deal. So let's get these guys going on down here. See, it looks like the in-game sound is a lot quieter than everything else. Oh, right, maybe because I turned it down so much. Let me turn that up and then turn the sound down a bit. There we go. Hopefully you'll be able to hear a bit more music now, but not have boats sound like they're... The loudest thing in the world. <laughs> I apologise for the, uh, the bit sound screwy in this episode, but... Uh, oh well. Is what it is. Don't let it get you down. So England would like Condottieri, but won't accept them because I have no land access to their capital. There should be another one where if you have land access to, your en to their enemy's capital, that counts. France is going to lose this war. France, you morons. <laughs> That is quite funny. Are we at naval force limit? No. 
We should build some more boats then. I know, I know, I know. We're saving up for the uh, the art center, but boats just have such good return on investment when we're uh, we're doing all this privateering. Where can I build him fastest? I guess it is here. Cool. Bit of input lag there. Is it gonna is it gonna recognize their clicks there? No. Let's try again. There we go. Okay. Cool. Another fifteen. Prime, uh, privateering ships, essentially, is how I'm thinking of them. God is indeed clearing the land for us. I would love it if you could get the unrest in Dalmatia down to zero, because that would substantially reduce the size of that uprising, um, considering it would only count these two provinces as uh, unrest, but it is nine, so not very likely, unfortunately. We can't have a third leader? We can have a third leader. I'd rather not even just spend a little bit of mill power it would cost right now, because our, our mill tech advantage over France, I'm sure, is a huge part of why they're uh, heavily disincentivized, disincentivized to declare war on us right now. Ah, I, caught, I uh, full stated this, but never full cored it. Are we waiting on a particular tech for that? We're way ahead of time on admin tech, so I don't see why we would. We're not spending admin points on ideas, so sure. Core it up. There we go. That will help autonomy uh, in lots of our previous places. So the knowledge sharing has been terminated. And obviously it hasn't actually spread here yet. Oh, but we are currently discussing a school of thought from a far-flung land. Good. Anywhere else? No, just Andalus. Fair enough. We'll want to build other ones, as I talked about, I think, in a previous episode. You know, here here, here. We'll want to get other art centers so these things spread better. But as long as it's going to spread f fine from that, I don't want to pay the huge amount of money we were shelling out for knowledge sharing. I mean, look at our income now. It's so much better without that ridiculous knowledge sharing fee. So I'm going to take Cairo from you. And I'm going to be upfront about that by actually claiming Cairo itself. And likewise, I'm going to take Rome from you. Make that coring cheaper. 10% of the population of Cordoba will be converted to Judaism. That's fine. I don't even mind. We're a uh, we're a nice tolerant chap. Don't mind the Inquisitor. We have an Aztec uh, diplomat, see? We're very tolerant. What's our current mission? Oh, well, what's our current mission? That's not a thing, remember, Christo? Uh, what could we be doing all right now? Colonize West Africa. 10 fully colonized provinces in the Guinea region. Where is the Guinea region, please? That area there, basically, looks like. Well, sorry, no, it's just the whole of Central Africa, basically. Okay, well, the coastal area of Central Africa. Okay. Um, I always think of Congo as, like, everything from the top of Congo down is Southern Africa. And this is Central. Everything above the Sahara is Northern. I think that's, that's pretty reasonable. What does this give us? Diplo power. It's not bad. We should maybe start establishing some uh, trade post provinces. Rushing for the uh, the colonial nations, though, is definitely sensible. Let's, speaking of which, let's get colonies back up in the outliner so we can tell when one's about to finish. Okay, well, obviously this was a little bit of a housekeeping episode, getting everything in order and uh, denying those states the privileges that they so unjustly believe they deserve. But in the next episode, I think war with the Mamluks is all but inevitable and we will uh, we'll see some more land off them. So I will see you in the next episode for that. Thank you ever so very much for watching. I hope you liked the episode. If you did, give it a like. It helps out a great deal. And I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.